All right, guys, we're here up in Thousand Palms. We got a uh, water truck here. Is that going to be able to lift it up from the back? I hope. <laughs> I, I, I told her I needed a flatbed, bro. Well, a flatbed, eh? I don't think flatbed would have. We wouldn't be able to get you out with a flatbed. Is it loaded with water? No, I emptied it already. Oh, okay, then I'll... But I need you to grab it from the back, though, because the drive line came out. Well, I mean, I could pull the drive line. That's not an issue. But all right, let's see if we can pull it from the back. Ugh. Where are we going with it? Uh, about, um, you know where uh, Ramon is? Ramon, like where? Okay, so what you do is, you, you know where um, where this where the casino is over there? You know the old freeway, uh -huh. the old the old uh, off ramp. Yep. So it's that one. You're gonna go left right there, and about past the Circle K, it's gonna be on your left hand side. Okay. Maybe about about five miles at most. Not very far. <laughs> We would have been blocking the whole road if we brought a land all, that's the thing. Well, you can go with that one, that's even better for me. I just, I mean, even if I do hook it from the back, I'm still gonna be blocking the road. That's what's a little concerning. I'll block, I'll block the road for you, bro. Okay. Whatever you need. Just so I can get it out of here, because the medicine's already calling us. What do you think? Uh, I think I'm gonna try to hook it from the rear here and see what happens. Well, let me ask you this. What if we rip, what if I pull that off? Well, I mean, if you pull the drive line off uh -huh. and I have my driver back it straight in. Let's see if that works. What do you mean back it straight in? Like ba back it up so it's straight for you? Will, will it, it roll from here? I honestly have no idea. But I told the guy to come back. Like what happened is this popped out? Oh wait, does it Does it have a? Yes. Oh, okay, so it's, oh, that's that makes a difference too. If I towed it from the rear, I'd have to pull the drive line there. Okay, let's do this. Let's. I'm gonna pull the drive line there. Can we use the front axle to move it once I pull that? Yeah. Okay, let's do that. Because I, I would have to pull that drive line anyway. I, can't tow that on the ground. I didn't know it was a six by six. Yeah. Okay. Let me, um, uh, I still think probably I'm better just staying in the lane here. Yeah. What do you need me to do? I need to pull that drive line. So let me pull it. Let me just pull it out and we'll get it out of there. Um, I'm gonna have to pull both ends too. Cause that's going to be spinning. All right. Let me get tools here and we'll get it out. Okay. I'm gonna move kind of more out of the way here. Ah, gotta get the truck tires dirty here. Six water truck. I'm gonna have to pull the driveline out. That is that broke, so I'm gonna have to pull that one out. And then uh, the they're gonna back it up out in the lane, and I'm gonna drive it from there. Just...
I think what we'll do since we're going down the hill too is I'll have if we could back it up on that side facing down perfect Is there somewhere to turn around up there? I don't think this thing will make it that far. I mean, if anything, I could have a backup straight in there. This is this is drivable. Once you pull that. Once I pull that end and that end, if you just engage the neutral one. Well, you'd um, put it in like four by four, six by six, oh. and drive it off of off just that front. axle. Yeah, because it's completely empty already. How did it just broke on you, huh? Not, not, not like <laughs> just. Well, it just fell off, and the guy. It was full cool the last time, so we emptied it. We just stopped it because it's a rental. Oh. So we don't want to fuck up anything else. Right, right, right. What kind of project are you guys working on? We're re they're redoing the power lines. Oh, okay. So we See it? Yeah, the dirt. Somewhere here? Yeah. Oh, right uh, I think I found it. What the hell? <laughs> I don't want to lose it. <sighs> oh. Is that it? There it is. That makes sense, stupid ass. Uh, they put a different size bolt in here. <laughs> it's still garbage. All right, that's that's new. Well, let's get these out of the way so I don't step on them, bury them again. Eventually, I, well, actually, I might need it. We'll see. Let's see if I can hold this up and do it. I think it's to the nuts, bro. Hope I can see it already. I hope not. Man, that looks all screwed up. Oh, God. That thing's screwed up. See the bolt already? It's all stripped out already. Someone thought they were a hero. Okay. 
Let me see if I can get a bigger socket on those. Maybe they do that on purpose. The opposing ones are different size. That'd be stupid. Where'd you put the old ones? Uh, right there on the floorboard under the seat. I really don't see an issue with it being able to get there on front wheel drive if it's empty. Where over there? Just right here. Well, what I'll have to do is I'll just have to go backwards right here and pull right here. Okay, do, do you know if there's a spot to turn around up yeah, there? Yeah, there is. There is, but, but what do you want the nose facing down? I'd like it, preferably okay, down. We'll do it your way. That's fine. Okay, that way I don't have to get all turned around up there, you know. Okay. bizarre thing. These took half inch and this one's taking a 13. Wasn't even on there tight. Makes no sense, huh? Nope. Okay. You know what? Hey bro, I would put this back on there and do the bottom one first and then take the top one off. It, I mean, it might fall off, but I'm not concerned about it right now. Um, actually what I'll do, or even if one of you guys could come on the other side and just hold it right here, I just need to hammer it on there. It's like my multi thread. This. Those, those gator bullshits. Let's see if we can pound this one on there. There we go. Soft bolts. I'm gonna move out of the way there. It, it, it'll probably stay in here, but if it does fall out, just, you can just drop it. That's out. That's out. Not gonna well, get that's all it is. Yeah, that's it. Well, that's all it is, huh? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Alright, let me I'm gonna run my idea by my boss here just to make sure we're all on I'm the same page. On the... Call Plaza tell me. Well, I won't even be able to put it back in because the two ends are separated. Oh, they put them together, but they compress them in? Yeah. What do you say? Sounds like a plan to him. <laughs> I just never done it like this, but I figure it should work, so. Um, on paper. Right, exactly. On paper. Um, let me, I'm, I just wanna, first? well, I'm, I'm thinking, so I don't create a bottleneck here, I should probably get lined up already. Yeah, myself turned around. Um, Pull forward? 
Yeah, maybe pull those right, Mike, trucks forward. <laughs> Is he getting on your nerves? <laughs> Um, okay, so, sorry guys, haven't been able to talk much, but that drive shaft fell out as we saw, or came separated it looks like. So what I went ahead and did was pull the drive shaft out, and since it's a 6x6, we're going to rely on the front axle power to hopefully move the truck out and get it on that side of the road and to a spot where I could tow it. Looks good on paper, hopefully it works. I'm gonna go ahead and fold this up. on. Cool. Thanks. I'll stand like right here with that light and Thank you, brother. stop everyone. Appreciate it. Just make sure he's in 6x6. Six six. Mark, make sure your 6x6 six six is on. If there's an option to go front axle only, I don't think there is. No, but there's not. Okay, yeah, then do 6x6. Six six. Like they got out of their car, so he's. I don't even, oh, oh, they just closed the it. Right oh. What's that? How long you the plaza? All my life. <laughs> really? Boss, boss is my dad. Well, there you go. Yeah. There you go. Nice and easy, don't gas it or anything. We don't want that drive shaft breaking. <laughs> hey! You wanna face me down? Yeah. 
I'd try to go from right here. That way you don't get too far in the sand and strain the drive stuff, so. Shut it off. Thank you. Alright, let's see if we can even hook this thing. Yeah, please. Set them. They're set? Okay, perfect. That worked out. Did uh did we put both drive shaft pieces in the truck? Hold that. Both of the drive shaft pieces are in the truck or you guys have them? Yeah. All right, I was just making sure we didn't leave them. Are you guys going to stick around or head back to your yard? I'm going to I got you. We're not leaving. All right, cool. We're going to take pictures of everything. Okay. The All right. Just making sure cuz I don't know exactly where it needs to go. Go for it. All right, we're gonna use my leaf spring hanger forks. I've actually never used these. My dad has. Thank <laughs> you. 
things are heavy. There. Watch your back, guys. Watch your back. Uh, pushing that whole slider right there just uh, toward me uh, like an inch there you go right there perfect thank you Never used these ones before. I know my dad has. <laughs> oh, that's all new to you? Huh? These ones are new to you? Well, the, these forks, they're, uh, these six by six axles are kind of different. different to hook. Usually we use a fork that just hooks onto them, but since it's so big, they make special forks for them. I don't have them in this truck, but I, I know we use these pins, so. You gotta take the pin out. <sighs> What's that? Oh, I, that one's fine. I was just going to go from this side. So that's good to know. We try, that's what we're here for. Eleven? Wow. That's a long time.
use these forks so I'm gonna make sure I'm doing this right rather call an ass than uh, cause an accident call dad mobile hey dad hey so I'm using the leaf spring fork adapters I've never used them before I already have it hooked and pinned is that do you throw chains or anything other than safety chains or you just pin it and make sure that knuckles up on the front of the leaf spring. All right. All right. Bye. All right. Like I said, I just want to be sure I've never used these. So I just want to make sure we're doing it right. This is a big truck, so don't need it falling on us. Now let's Saw the air tank over there. There's the dryer right here. Let's see if there's any valves we can tap. clearance tilt up to make it level grab safety chains Some people ask me, is the leaf spring strong enough to put a safety chain on? And the answer is yes, because you can lift the whole thing off of the leaf spring. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna chain it short like that. Take a bungee. After this, I'll be ready to roll. Did you? Yeah. Luckily, that drive shaft didn't put up much of a fight. Other than that little. Huh? I saw the ear, I was like, holy smokes. Yeah, 
that's crazy. New truck should not be doing that. Obviously, I don't. I, I really don't know what would cause it to separate like that. That's kind of weird. Sixteen. I just keep good care of it. <laughs> What's that? Yeah. I'm ready to go. I'm gonna get a picture of myself. Yeah, a little bit. Go ahead and explain to me. So basically, what it is is you're gonna go straight down right here to make a left at this light. Okay. The next light, which is Ramon Road, there's a there's a 76 and a Chevron. You're gonna turn left right there. Into there. Okay. Uh, it's called uh, Ramona. You're going to pull it all the way down. You're going to pass Circle K. And about six streets down, like by four streets down, you'll see uh, Edison Yard. Okay. It's right there. So, like a left right there by In and Out, right? Because you got Ramon. Yeah, Ramon. On, the, on In and Out. I mean, where, on, you know, on Ramon Road. Make, make a left and then go down. All the way down, you'll see the Circle K okay. on Monterey. Just keep going straight. Okay. It's like well, it's less than five miles. Like, it's not okay. like, I'll try to. I'll, I mean, if, I'll, if you don't mind, I'm gonna, I'm gonna not leaving you. Okay, I'll just follow you in then. When I pull in, you're gonna have to make a. You're gonna have to stay to the left all the way when you pull in, okay. because the, the the gate's not 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 okay. that big. I uh I lied to you too. I need to do one more thing. I just need to run air to it. Oh, go ahead, man. You're good. It probably would be fine going that short distance, but I'd rather not take the chance. I was like, man, that was quick. I almost forgot something. So, just run here to it really quickly. Um, hmm. Which one do we want to run air to? Or we could go to the dryer. Where'd it go? The dryer was up here somewhere. There it is. Hmm. Determine which one I want to go to here. That one is tapped into that one. That, okay, so they must be all, they're all interconnected. Just go into this one here. I'm sure we'll get a nice rush of air. Too big. This one. one looks like a winner. My light just getting. Grab a nine sixteenths really quick. Ratchet. Selfie. Okay. This guy. Click 
click. Through here. sure that the brakes didn't set. I'm gonna keep this ratchet there so I can take off the fitting. Looks set. Make sure the air tanks are coming up too. Hundred and rising. Brake set. Our brakes released. I'm gonna go ahead and climb up and put the camera up on the boom. I will see you guys at the drop off. You want an invoice written up? Yes, please. Yeah, yeah my boss is going to need one. Yeah, no problem. I'm assuming they're going to want reimbursement.
Yeah. Probably would have came up with that eventually after 20 minutes. I was like, oh, I could have done that. I should have done this. Uh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Easy.
right guys well i'm gonna go ahead and write up an invoice for these guys if you did enjoy this video please be sure to hit that thumbs up button as always like comment subscribe thanks for watching have a great day